Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first video since my dad passed away. I am not going to be going into details regarding that. Um, I'm doing this video just because I need to distract myself for a little bit and because I have missed you guys so, so much and I wanted to share some of these new goodies with you. I also wanna thank each and every one of you that has sent me beautiful messages, uh, cards, you have sent me uh, beautiful cards with the notes in them and you guys have been so good to me and keeping me in your prayers and the messages on Instagram. I really, you don't know how much that means to me. It's, it has really made me feel so much better through this very hard time that I'm going through. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. You guys have made so many comments. I mind that snoring and that's something that I would always treasure in some of my older videos, hearing my dad snoring. So every time I want to hear that. I can just play a video back. But I know a lot of you got to know him through his snoring. So thank you so, so much for all the lovely words. So this is a look that I created with products that I purchased with an Ulta Rewards Points. And I have everything on my face. The only thing I didn't have was powder. And I'm using this amazing powder, the Cody Airspun, which you guys, if you guys haven't tried it, you need to. This is like the second one that I go through. But you get a lot of product in here. I don't know exactly how much is in here, but trust me, it's a lot more than the one ounce that we get with our fancy. This has to be, I would say, at least two ounces, if not more. And then the um, mascara that I use is Elf Lash and Roll, which I'm trying to use up. It's something that I don't really care for personally. And I'm wearing it with the Essence Volume Booster, and it's still my lashes. They look okay, but they're not. I can't wear this by itself. It does absolutely nothing for my lashes. So if you want to see how I created this video, no. If you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so today what I'm going to do is a full face of the products that I purchased at um, Ulta with my, with my points. So this, I'm gonna start, I already have my primer and sunscreen and skincare on. I'm gonna start with this foundation. I used this foundation many, many, many years ago. And I have a friend here on YouTube that she uses this. This is one of her favorite foundations. And I decided, you know what? Let me try it and if I see if I still like it the way I used to love it. This is the CoverGirl NLA Simply Ageless. And it has Hyaluronic Complex with vitamin C. And it's, um, yeah, and it's three in one. Instantly reduces the appearance of wrinkles, improves tone, and delivering firming moisture. So I do remember that I liked it at the time that I used it, but it's been many, like I said, many, many years. All right, so we're gonna put some on the back of my hand. I have it in the shade 232 Nude Beige. And I got this on uh, Ulta. Everything here is from Ulta, of course. I told you it was a duh. Don't mind me. Um, <laughs> my head and my body have not been connected for a while, so. Okay, I'm going to use the um, BK Beauty 101 brush. And if I remember correctly, this is more of like a medium coverage foundation. Um, you know, maybe you can build it up a little bit. But I remember that being a very heavy foundation. So if you don't like like full coverage, and it's supposed to have the benefit of having um, Olay skincare ingredients in there, so if you like to have skincare in your foundation. I mean, it's something that I don't necessarily look for in a foundation, either skincare or SPF, but if it's there, um, I definitely appreciate it. So I'm gonna put a little more on my cheeks to see if I can cover some of those dark spots. Okay, so I think that's about as much coverage as I'm going to be getting on this. I don't want to put on any more. It is a little scented. And I thought it was my brush because I just cleaned it, but it is a little scented. Which is probably the Olay in there. But it's, I don't mind it. I don't think it's overpowering. I think it's something that will dissipate once you have it on for a little bit but um, I do find that it is a little scented. All right, so I also purchased a L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Concealer. The last concealer that I tried from L'Oreal, it didn't seem to have enough coverage for me. It's okay, 
but oh, before I do that, I did purchase the new uh, Maybelline Erase. This is a corrector, a multi-use, and this is the one that is 160. It's like a pink, and I do like this. I almost forgot because I don't use corrector every day, but um, this is nice. I do have like the previous corrector, but it doesn't seem to be. It was a brightener. It wasn't like a corrector, and this is more pinky. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose because I have a little bit of redness on my nose. My concealer brush, this is the Angie, BK Beauty Angie concealer brush. And then just kind of like pat it in there. And it works really well too if you put it like over your dark spots. I did that the other day. Under my foundation, I used a powder foundation. And I used this to cover the dark spots before I put the pa fa the fa fa the powder foundation on and it worked really really well I just noticed that I didn't bring a night primer so I'm just gonna use concealer today all right so the concealer is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour wear concealer and I have it in the shade 365 cashew I don't know if this is gonna be too dark I think it'll be okay. I don't like to get my concealers very light. I like for it to kind of blend with my skin instead of making it really, really bright. Because sometimes I think it just, if you have a very light concealer, or at least if I use, I should say, everybody needs to use their concealer how they like it. If I use a concealer that is way too light for me, it brings too much focus on my under eyes. So then you're going to be noticing my fine lines and awesome wrinkles. So, I'd rather have a concealer that is more like my skin tone or that it matches my foundation. I do have some that are a little like, I do use them because I'm not going to throw them away. I have them, but I prefer, you know, that's only because I picked the wrong shade. Not because I was trying to make them super brightening. Okay, so I'm going to take my foundation brush. And just oh, this one right here that one's clean and just go over right here so that there's no line right there kind of make sure that the foundation and the concealer are you know meshed in together all right so this the next thing that I'm going to use this powder I did not buy a new powder so I'm going to use I haven't used this in the longest time the Cody Airspun and I do love the Cody Airspun, except that I always end up with it all over my, all over me. So I'm going to try to be a little gentle. I'm going to use just very little on my under eyes and my, over the concealer on my lid. And then I'm going to take a bigger powder, pr powder brush. Oh my God. And this is where it gets, it can get messy. I'm gonna do very little okay so that's all you don't I don't need a lot I do like this powder this powder is very very affordable it's like five or six dollars you get a huge amount and I really think at one time my mother used this powder because I always think of her whenever I put it on the scent brings me back to her so I really think somewhere in my childhood or something my mom wore this okay so I'm gonna do my brows really quick I'm just gonna use the elf brow Wow, wow brow, said it backwards. Okay, and now for blush, I have two of them that I wanna try out. One is a powder and one is a cream, but I think the shades are similar, so I'm hoping they don't look super weird. The first one is one of the L'Oreal ones, the ones that they just released. They're the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. And I got number 05 Fearless Coral. Now, I only purchased one because I didn't know if they were going to be sending it to me in PR. So I didn't want to buy more than one and then receive them. If I do get them, then I'll give the one that matches this shade. I'll give it away. So this one is the first one we're going to use. And I'm going to use this. This is a Refer 05. And these are very pigmented. And the nice thing, these are really pretty. I mean, they are really bright colors. But it also has like a little mirror down there. So they're kind of nice for traveling because you still have the mirror, but these are very pigmented. So you just look at this. I just went, I didn't even swirl the brush. So I'm going to take a little bit off of my hand. 
I'm not going to use bronzer or um, highlighter today. I'm just not. Take a little more. And a bronzer highlighter mood. The other blush that I'm going to try out is my Morphe. And I don't get too many Morphe products, but this one looks so cute. This is a, uh, it's called the Blush Balm. And this is a Mighty Mauve. And I just think the shade looks so, so pretty. Okay, this is the Maybelline and this is the Morphe. So I think I can make it. I'm going to use the other side of the brush. I'm going to make it look pretty close, I hope. This is really pigmented. This is the one that I use the foundation. Just go a little bit over both blushes just to kind of like blend them a little better. That's it for now. If I need more later, then I will add a little more. But look how cute this little compact is. It has a little mirror. It's super cute. Very little. Very travel friendly. And I just loved it. I just thought it looked so cute. And like I said, I don't get too many Morphe things. But I thought this, this looked really pretty. So I wanted to try it. Alright, for my eyes, I've been wanting to do a full face or almost a full face of Kiko Milano, but I haven't done that. So I did get this new palette that they it just got released. It has several different color stories. This is the one that I chose. It's more of a cool uh, color story and I wanted to try it on. So I'm going to start with this shade right here, this little pinky one. And I'm going to just put that in my crease. I'm not going to judge it too hard if it doesn't really, if it doesn't look great today. Because to me, my eyeshadows always look so much better with eye primer than with when I use um, concealer. My nose is very shiny. Did I not put powder on my nose? And my eyeshadow does not last as long if I use concealer versus a uh, a primer this is going to be like the fastest look ever okay i'm going to take i'm going to take this color right here it looks like a silver i'm going to put that on my lid this is pretty I've been so lazy with makeup lately, guys. Most of the time, I'm, I really haven't been going too many places. I do want to share a piece of amazing news with you, which has brought me so much joy during this special time of my life that it's not very joyful. My grandson, my 24-year-old grandson, he was pinned on Friday. He's officially a firefighter. I am so proud of that young man. He has always been an amazing young man. He really has from the time he was born. He was, like I said, my first grandchild, my eldest. And when he started going into the fire um, academy, he had so many bumps on the road because it was right when COVID was hitting. A lot of the classes were canceled. They were not able to do like you know, the CPR classes and the uh, the uh, EMT classes. You know, he just had like a lot of hurdles. He never gave up. Never gave up. My grandson, let me tell you, he went after it and he got it. And hard, it shows that hard work really does pay off. You know, you can't give up. There's something that you want out there. If you want it bad enough, you have to go get it. Okay, I'm going to use this little brush right here. And I'm going to use uh, this one right here on my inner corner. So I am so proud of him. I did go to his um, pin, pinning um, graduation or whatever. And it was so, so nice. So proud of him. He looks so handsome in his uniform. You know, not that firefighter gear, but the regular like dress uniform. I can't post it because they're not supposed to... Um, I'm going to use the same shade to put a little bit on my brow bone. They're not supposed to, um, you know, like advertise that they're firefighters or anything like on social media. So I'm not going to post a picture of him. But trust me, he looks 
so handsome. I am so proud of him. And tell you the truth, it was, it brought me so much joy to be able to experience that. Okay, and now I'm going to use a little bit of the black right here on my outer corner. Such proud moments that we have with our kids and grandkids, right? I mean, and sometimes in our toughest times in life, something like that, if it brings us joy, even if it's just for, I mean, not, not that I'm not joyful today because of it, but, you know, there's so much going on in my head that... Man, I have like no fallout from this eyeshadow whatsoever. And you know, with black, you have to be so careful. None of them gave me any fallout, but whoa. I don't think this is a super pigmented. I mean, the black is fine, but as you can see, it's more like a dark gray than a black. I don't think this is like a super pigmented uh, formula right here. If you're looking for something that's going to be bam in your face, this isn't it. But if you want to create like a nice look, like comparable to like a uh, Lancome eyeshadow or something like that. You know, that you get pigment, but not, you're just gonna end up with a nice classy, this is the first brush I used, um, you know, a nice classy look, but it's not gonna be like, bam, in your face, which I do appreciate these. Okay, I'm gonna take the same little uh, thin pencil brush that I had, and I'm gonna mix the pink and a little bit of that black. Just for a little bit under my. So let me see if I can get a little more of that. It has this shimmer, but I think that's gonna be like, yeah, it's like a topper. I really don't wanna mess with uh, glitter today. So we'll skip that. But that, this silver one is very pretty. It's like a taupey silver, very pretty. And I'm going to take the brush that has the black, but not add anything extra. Just blend over here. All right, so I think I'm done with that. So for lashes, this is not from the uh, sale from my uh, haul. I already had this. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Essence Primer and the e.l.f. Lash and Roll, and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are my lashes after three coats. This mascara is okay. I mean, this is with, this is a fabulous lash primer so this is not my favorite mascara but i do have it and i do want to you know finish it but it just it doesn't build my lashes enough i like chunky long lashes and i feel like a more of a natural looking lash that is going to be that's going to be separated for you then this is the mascara for you because my lashes are pretty much this length so see this is a fourth I, I mean you can build it but it doesn't look any different it doesn't matter how much you put on it it looks the same so it's okay all right so i think my blush is all right i'm just gonna go over it but i think it looks fine okay now for my lips i do have several options i want a little cuckoo okay i brought i got two lipsticks I got this one. I don't have too many. Let me do it on this hand because I already have a lot of stuff on the other one. I don't have too many uh, light lipsticks. Mine are more bright. This one is called Peony number 310. And this is in the Milani. The ones in this packaging, you guys know. And this is like a creamy matte lipstick. Okay, so this is Peony. Then I have... This one is number 20, Fantasy. Wow, this is a different one. This is the shine one, but these are beautiful. I love this formula. It's very pretty, look at that. See this one, it's the, um, this one right here, which I love this formula. This is very similar to the Revlon, the one that has the same kind of, you know, with the shine. Um, and then also um, Lancome has one that is very similar to this. Then I got the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. This has been out for a long time. This is from CoverGirl. And I've had so many people say how fabulous this gloss is. Oh, it does smell fabulous. This really has no color. Um, this is like clear pretty much. 
so this would be more of a you know to put it over your lipstick or a lip liner or something like that this is in the shade it's vegan cruelty free i will list it below because it's so light that it's crazy i also got this from uh, jcat this is the dew gloss and this is in the color full gleam i don't know but this is what it looks like that's the shade so um this looks very pretty also it is like a balm and is lip hydration then i got another one from lottie london this is a gloss and this one is an oil slick it's called and it it's in the shade you'll know when you read the description box and this one again is it looks pink but it's like clear so this one is i have not tried them i can't tell you if they're good or if they're not good then i found this from alme actually I'm, i didn't get this i didn't get these two and um i got these at cvs but i'll show them to you anyway because i did try these and these are nice this is the alme color care lip oil in stick and i thought this is a fabulous idea i'm going to do it on this side this is very comfy what i did was i wore a lip liner yesterday and then i put this on top this one is the color 120 rosy glaze is that one right there so it does have a little bit more of a pigment and then that was the one i wore yesterday i also got this one which looks beautiful and this one is it's more has more of like a little bit of purple in it Pur purple purple <laughs> 110 sugar plum oh yeah so it does have a little more of plum in it very very nice but this is nice something different not uh you know the liquid but in like a balmy kind of okay so i have this lip liner this is from covergirl and it's called simply ageless simply ageless lip flip liner and this is in loving rose and it's like as you can see it's not a pointy tip which i think it will make it nice to kind of like let me not have so much out i don't want to break it to kind of like do your entire lip and put like a gloss over it so i'm gonna line my lips with it first and then we'll decide on the lipstick they're all pretty much pink so okay right off the bat it's not super glidey or the gel like or super creamy which is what i really like because that way it doesn't accentuate the lines on my lips so this one it's okay it may be a longer lasting because it's not quite as emollient but i don't know i kind of like a creamier consistency okay so i think i'm going to use the lighter lipstick you guys are not used to seeing me with a lighter lipstick so i think i'm going to go for that one and then just use a gloss over it it's a perfect lip liner for this lipstick okay if i'm going to move you guys up a little bit so that more so that you can see how my lips are my lines are accentuated you see And I really think that when you wear lighter, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like when you wear lighter lipsticks, my lip lines look more accentuated than if I wear a darker lipstick. I'm going to use this gloss over it. This, um, this is the 120 Rose Glaze. This is the Alme uh, Lip Oil. The lip oil helped a little. But you can still see them. But it did hydrate them a little bit, so I think it looks better. See if we put a gloss over it. How many layers can you put on a lip? I'm just going to put the gloss in the middle. Clean the make sure i don't put contaminate the rest of the lip gloss i think i like that better with a little bit of gloss how about you guys 
so this is it i think this is everything that i have to try so let me show you what else i got in the in the haul that i didn't show you i've been wanting one of these from nars this is the the ones are like a balm and they're real glossy very pretty this is a beautiful shade and is it magnetic no you click it in and this is in the shade turned on they'll have such a nice name for the their stuff um what else i think that's all okay they were having um look how cute this little bag is they were having a uh, free this bag was free with the uh cover girl purchase which i think is so cute these are nice like if you go to the beach or something and put like you know the stuff you need to take with you it doesn't work well with brushes my I put all my my products in there and the brushes get funny out then they also were having a mugler was having a um a special this gift with a with a i think it was like a 50 dollar purchase and it brings how cute these are so cute of the angel i just love when they make little perfume bottles that look the same as the original i think that is just the cutest then you get uh just a little sprayer of the this is alien goddess which i love this is such a good perfume i have the intense beautiful and this is alien and then i think this is just like a little makeup bag yeah it's just a little vinyl makeup bag so this was free so anyway guys yeah this is it so this is um a look with everything that i had in my in my haul i like the foundation i think it did a pretty good job of covering the dark uh spots on my face some of it still shows through which is fine i would have to use a real uh full coverage foundation in order for those not to uh, show but i think it gave me enough coverage that is not super visible that's fine i'm fine with it the uh, palette this was cute it's not something that i have to tell you go run and get it i mean this is a lot more affordable of than a lancome and i think that the formula is very similar as to how it going goes on your eyes i mean it looks nice i didn't have to work super hard for this uh for this look um this i didn't buy it this time but you know the mascara it's not anything that i would say yeah go get it this this concealer i like it a lot better than the other, the other one it gives me a lot more coverage i really like this i've tried it before and i really really like it the lip oils again they're from cvs but they're amazing i don't know if ulta has it i'll go ahead and um I can link them in there but i had a 30 percent off and it was free shipping so i got them for really really cheap and that's why i got them through cvs and my 30 percent off coupon was going to expire so that's what i got a couple of things from there um what else i think that's it the lipsticks this looks beautiful like a clara shade this one is i don't know matte lipsticks some of them are okay some of them are not some of my lipsticks are still creamy enough that they don't and like i said if they're darker i don't feel like my lines are as visible this one the lines are super visible so it's something that i don't think i would wear on its own i would definitely have to put something on top i think it looks much better with a gloss on top but it's a pretty shade this one looks beautiful this i can't wait to just try because it smells amazing and i heard it's a really good gloss um i've had this this is like the second one that i've owned and it's really a good of the wild brow if you don't want anything like super it's not going to cement your brows down but it's just nice you know this is a uh, brown or brunette or something what is it what shade is it neutral brown so it just gives you a little bit of a tint and you know out the door this is like an everyday kind of look for me um, probably not even as much foundation on a daily basis this is definitely like a if you never tried it and you want a really good setting powder this works really well even under my eyes it doesn't give me dry under eyes it's really good all right guys i hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for spending some time with me and for giving me some uh, mental relief in doing this video i love you guys and i will see you on my next video bye Mwah.